so happy to be back. <laughs> And thank you so much for doing this. And, and the ambassador's been telling me about all the wonderful coverage and, and good you know, feeling that you try to generate to pay attention to people and listen to them. I thank you so much. For thank, that. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. And I, I'm so proud of you all. I mean, she was telling me how exciting wow. it is to have your show. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Role models. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what she said, that you were role models. I love that. Madam Secretary, we would like to thank you very much for showing your support to the Thai people. It's very kind of you. And, um, well, how did you feel when you were in the shelter next door visiting flood victims? Well, first, let me say that I love Thailand and I love the Thai people. And I've been very distressed about these terrible floods, which are a historic, horrible uh, event for your uh, country. And I wanted to come to so, show solidarity and friendship Thank with the you. Thai people. And I was so pleased to come to this very bright, cheerful uh, complex where people are being well taken care of. I got to visit with some of those who have been displaced and hear a little of their stories. Um, but I am very confident that Thailand's going to come back in even stronger ways. Uh, so I, I'm here to show not only solidarity and sympathy, but confidence and optimism. Thank you very much. And do you think the U.S. will be able to help Thailand in any way, after, um, especially after the floods have gone? Yes, and last night I announced some additional ways yes. we intend to help. Um, we're just at the beginning of our help because Thailand's one of our oldest allies in the world, and we care deeply about what happens to your country. So what we have done is to put together both um, our civilian experts, our military experts. We have a, a ship in the in the harbor that has helicopters to work with your military to survey what's going on. We're going to try to uh, reopen uh, one of the airports, the Dong Wong Airport, uh, so that can be uh, useful again. Uh, we obviously have been providing. Uh, you know, survival kits, boats, generators, those kinds of immediate emergency responses. And we are also looking at helping you recover some of your cultural and religious sites that have been inundated. I saw pictures of beautiful temples yes. and statues surrounded by water. So we, we have a whole plan, but I feel strongly that we will only do what the government and the people of Thailand wish us to do. So we're good partners. Thank you very much for your kindness. Thank you. And um, um, earlier this year, we understand that you were also badly hit by the Mississippi River floods, right? Yes, yes. How did you go through it and any advice to Thailand? Well, we've had a lot of floods in the last um, 10 years and most famous perhaps is the Katrina flood in New Orleans. And that's why I, I believe floods, I mean, you have typhoons and, and cyclones and hurricanes and earthquakes and tornadoes and fires. There's many different kinds of terrible natural disasters uh, as we just saw in Japan. There's something about a flood though that is so hard because it takes so long. Yes. Uh, it's there for weeks, even months before it drains. and. That can take a toll on people's spirits. Uh, the few people I had a chance to talk to, they don't know when they're gonna, going to get to go home. You know, one said maybe two weeks, one said maybe a month. That's hard. And children are out of school. I saw some beautiful little children. Uh, I asked a nine-year-old girl and a six-year-old boy if they like school, and they do, and they want to get back to school. So it's, it's very um, draining, so to speak, right. debilitating. And it's particularly hard on everyone, but women and children who have to keep all the family together and have to repair uh, what has been damaged um, while their husband's trying to get back to work and try to rebuild, it takes a toll on everyone. So I urge that people get prepared, be patient, but be very determined. Um, and even some of our private companies are, are contributing money to try to help rebuild houses. Uh, so there'll be a lot of work to do.
How have you found it? Have, have any of you been personally affected by the floods, or have you yeah. been? Gala Mer, her house is uh, flooded. Oh, still right now. Yeah. Okay. And how much water? Uh, I have far from Nice. And the black water. Oh, the black water. Yes. It's terrible, isn't house. it? Yes. yes. And, and you have to keep your children away from the water because there's so much disease and, and pollution know. in the water. And, yes. and you have to be prepared to, unfortunately, throw a lot of things away because they can't be salvaged. So I'm so yes. sorry. When do you think you'll get to go home? I stay in the, uh, the condo near my office. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's got another place to stay. So. Good, good. <laughs> well, Maybe I, in a month or so? In a month, maybe. I looked at a map um, as to where the water has to drain out. And I think there's the immediate problems we have to deal with. But what we found in our big floods of the last 10 years is that we did some things in our country that made it worse. You know, really? we. Yes, because, like, for example, around New Orleans, um, we put up a lot of levees, which are, are barriers to the water um, and trying to keep the Mississippi River and floodwaters in a channel. Well, Mother Nature is more powerful than that. And it used to be that the water could go into the farmland and then it would dissipate. But it was kept channeled. And so it would just rush down and then oh, it would flood. Right. And so we've had to look at flood control. We've had to look at how we manage our rivers. And there are so many great rivers in Southeast Asia uh, Mekong, for example, that as you develop and you have more businesses and more factories and more homes, you take away land that used to be drainage land, wetlands. So uh, we're having to do this around the world, and it's a big wake-up call for all of us. Right. Yeah. Well, Madam Secretary, a lot of people in Thailand are suffering at the moment. I know. Anything you'd like to say to them? Well, I first want to tell our Thai friends that um, our hearts go out to you and to all of you who are suffering and to everyone who has been affected by this flood. Um, but we are not just offering sympathy, we're offering friendship, we're offering support. I want to thank the many, many Thai citizens who have come to help. Uh, as I was coming in, I saw people volunteering as yes. uh, you know, medical workers, as, as hair cutters, uh, as babysitters for babies. There's so many things that the Thai people are doing to help each other. And I want to tell you that we will be with you, not just now, but in years to come, uh, because we believe in Thailand. We value greatly the Thai culture uh, and the alliance and, and partnership we've had over so many years. ช่วงต่อไปเราจะมาคุยกับท่านรัฐมนตรีต่างประเทศสหรัฐในเรื่องของผู้หญิงกันบ้างนอกจากนี้นะคะท่านยังให้กำลังใจพวกเราชาวไทยที่กำลังฝ่าวิกฤตน้ำท่วมอีกด้วยสักครู่ค่ะ